I'm David Bolton of GoParallel, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Intel Inspector XC 2015 to find a data race in a program. So what's a data race, you say? A data race occurs in a multi-threaded program when two threads try to write to the same variable at the same time. It's a bug in the software, but these are not the easiest type of things to find. The example I'm going to show is a program to count how many prime numbers there are between 3 and 5,000, and I'll be running it in Visual Studio 2012. It's coded in C, which makes it easy to see what's going on. But the same principle applies whether it's in C, C++, or Fortran. Here's a little bit of background maths about prime numbers, but I promise I'll keep it simple. A prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself or one, and it leaves no remainder. No other number can divide into it and leave a zero remainder. For example, the numbers 2, 3, 5, and 7 are prime numbers, but 9 isn't because it can be divided by 3. Now, in the program, I use an algorithm called the sieve of Eratosthenes, and that checks to see if a number is prime by dividing by all the odd numbers from 3 up to the square root of the number and seeing if it's got a remainder of 0. If it hasn't, then it's prime. If any of the divides leave a remainder of 0, it's not prime. And so let's try it out for 31. Now, square root of 31 is somewhere between 5 and 6 because um, 5 squared is 25 and 6 squared is 36, so it falls in the middle. We divide 31 by 3, and that leaves a remainder of 1. Um, so we carry on. We divide by 5, and again, that leaves a remainder of 1. Now, the next number we divide into it is 7, but as that's greater than the square root, we stop, and 31 is prime number. So as we work our way up in the C algorithm, we track whether each odd number is prime instead of flagging the primes array. And there's a clever optimization as part of the C. As we're going through the array, the non primes like 9, 15, 21 get identified. And there's no need to divide by those numbers when we're checking larger primes because those numbers have already been divided by, they've got their own divisors. I know that sounds a bit complicated, but you don't need to divide by 15 because we know it can already be divided by 3 and 5. Now we're going to run the program to calculate how many primes there are between 3 and 5,000. And I'll tell you that the correct answer is 668. If the program is run without any threading or just one thread, this is the answer it produces. Now we want to speed the program up, so we're going to use OpenMP to run it multi-threaded. And we, do, we enable that by going to Project Properties, and then Configuration Properties, CC++, Language, and then we set OpenMP support to yes. And that's ready to compile. We then add in directives as and when needed. For example, the number of threads. I've defined that as a hash define um, number eight. And also we use OMP parallel fours on places here and here just to speed those loops up. We've got a comment out here, which I'll explain a bit later. And let's run it and see what happens. That's 642, which is not what was said it should be 668, I run it again, 645, and I run it again, and 639. So either there's a fundamental constant of the universe is changing between runs, or maybe we've got a bug. I'll, I'll settle for the latter. Now that we've established that we have a bug, we're going to use the Intel Inspector to try and track down where it's happening. I'm going to start with a new analysis. When you're doing a series of these, you want to run this the first time uh, just to select the type of analysis and also the resources that it's going to be using. You've got medium or maximum for data races. Uh, maximum is slower and uses it more memory. And just before we run it, I'll move this over a little bit to the right. So in case the window, it tries to, in case it tries to hide the window. And there it is. And you can see it's running a lot slower than usual. And it's... There's a the result, 667, which is still wrong. And we'll close that down. It'll now collate the results, and I'll move this back. Right, it's found two data races. We need to look at each one and see whether it's a real one or if it's a false positive. Sometimes it comes up with false positive. For example, this first one is reading uh, a value. It's not writing, so that is. The second one is where it's doing an increment on count, and that is obviously right. So that's on line 47. So let's go there, and you can see it's here. Now, the fix for this is by making this a critical section because it's a right way where two or more threads are trying to increment count at the same time, and that's and we, we need to, them to stop that. So we'll uncomment this and compile it and then run it, and 668, which is the correct answer. Let's try that once again just to make sure it wasn't fluke. And 668, 
and third time 668. So there we are, that's it, we'll fix the bug. Thank you for watching, I'm David Bolton of Go Parallel.